I am Brandon here with Brandon um, Brandon's PC help and this is my very first video and is going to be with the GIMP the GIMP is a really powerful photo editing software like Photoshop and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a drop shadow like the one you see for box like Windows and Windows Vista or like this drop shell right here um so I'm gonna start off by making a new document I'm just gonna make it maybe 500 by 500 say it okay and um I'll bring up my um, layers palette by holding down control and pressing L brings my um um uh, my layers palette my layers window I mean say um so I'm just gonna make the black background color of it I uh, gotta remove the alpha layer so it's not transparent so um I'm just gonna make a new layer um I'll just make it 200 by 300 um, I'll set the background color as the foreground color okay I'm just gonna center that on the page and actually I will just make it like more windows feel to zoom in just press control then just scroll up that's if you're um well I'm on new Windows so I don't know what it is for Mac. So I'm just doing this really quick. And um So I'll just try this out to the exact size of the just something like that. And then I'll just do white in this. So I'll hit can shift control A. That is deselects everything. Actually put a red color in whoops hit control Z is your undo button I'll select this layer the one with this window in it kind of paint that red so I'll zoom out to a hundred hundred is the full size what you see kind of so now I'm just gonna duplicate this layer I'm gonna take the duplicated layer underneath that. I'm gonna take this layer. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock and hide the top layer, and then I'm um, left with this bottom layer. So now I'm just gonna make everything black. make that whole bottom layer black and then what you guys want to do is go to layer um, I'm just gonna um, scale layer no um, go to layer layer boundary size and I'm gonna increase all the sides by 10 Make sure you have this lock on. Whoops. I'll just hit reset. So I'll make it 210. Enter. 
So then I'm just gonna press press this center button right here. Then I'll hit resize, and then I'm gonna go up to filter, blur, and the second one down. Just hit it, and this window will pop up. It will say how much you want to blur right here, horizontal and vertical. Let's put an eight for each one of them. If you have the lock on, it will automatically do eight for both. I'm just gonna test eight for now, see what it's like. Then unhide and unlock, or you can keep the top layer unlocked. And yeah, that's a pretty nice drop shadow. Actually, I think I might make it a little bit more intense. I'll just hit filter. Um, reshow. Um, costume. The sorry about that. Just hit this one or shift control F and I'll do another mm, four maybe okay and yeah it's a pretty nice blur there so this is Brandon here with Brandon's PC help I hope this GIMP tutorial has helped you, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay, goodbye.